This segment brought to you by Winchester Ammo. Welcome back to Veteran Outdoors. We're back in beautiful Wyoming at the NX Bar Ranch. We're following our alum and wounded veteran Jason Burr on his Wyoming adventure. Jason's passed on some really good bucks, but I believe this is the one he wants. We're going to go to him now as he goes in on a stock of a lifetime. Over the top. Jack on in. Shut right over him. Whenever you're ready. Hold on. Good shot. Sam, the wonderful guide he is, put us onto a nice one. Uh, he said, it's by two fawns, we're taking this one. I didn't have a choice, didn't look. Uh, first shot, I shot over him. Second shot was right there. I think he dropped pretty quick. He did. Um, that's awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go get a look at him, huh? Let's go. Good he is now. <laughs> This is my first mule deer ever. Thanks to the NX Bar Ranch, the Chase family, and Veterans Outdoors, they truly made this an exciting day. We've been working the last two days. It's windy, it was cold this morning. They weren't moving, they were really spooky. And this guy happened to pop out, it was awesome. I wanna say thanks for making this a really special and memorable hunt, hunt of a lifetime. Thanks again. U.S. Army veteran Jason Bird took an unbelievable mule deer. Now he's going after a giant bull elk. Well, it's uh, Tuesday, day two. I just got uh, my first mule deer ever. Um, now we're going and listen to some elk bugle and there's a there they go right on cue so uh, stay tuned we're gonna have some more fun the annex bar ranch is the only uh, high fenced ranch in the state of Wyoming so therefore we don't need elk tags uh, these elk are privately owned so that we can bring soldiers up veterans up and take them elk hunting at any given time I've never seen an area with elk populated like this. It's pretty unbelievable. There's three cows that's over this ridge line. So we're going to go around and see if we can find that topic. The HVE high value elk. Stay tuned. More exciting Wyoming elk hunting action is coming up when Veteran Outdoors returns. Hello, my name is Pat Scroggin. I was injured in Iraq March 1st, 2007, when my helicopter suffered a catastrophic engine failure, which resulted in a crash. I suffered a left leg above the knee amputation, fractured vertebrae, and a crushed pelvis. Hunts for Heroes helped over a thousand wounded soldiers last year. They do that by providing hunting and fishing trips for veterans. Hunts for Heroes knows that the wounds that can't be seen are just as bad as the wounds that can be seen. The ratio of veterans coming home wounded from this war are greater than any other time in our country's history. It's more important now than ever to provide as many soldiers as we can coming back from these wars with this great outdoor experience. After all, they are the future of our country. In order to do this, we need your help through volunteering, donating resources, and helping to raise funds that will go towards scholarships, grants, and endowments. To donate, please learn more about Hunts for Heroes at huntsforheroes.com. This segment brought to you by Roofing Supply Group, a leading national distributor of commercial and residential roofing products to both contractors and homeowners. Veteran Outdoors is in Sheridan, Wyoming this week hunting the NX Bar Ranch. U.S. Army veteran Jason Burr and a crew member of Veteran Outdoors has taken a nice mule deer on this trip. Now let's go see if he can bag one of those giant bull elk. I just found out that uh, I could have killed a uh, bull elk instead of a cow, so the adrenaline and the heart rate dramatically increased so uh, we just found him he's over there so uh, we'll see what happens he took off running but uh, we'll get him 
We got a couple more days. He's a seven by six, a huge monster. So we'll see what happens. You know, Jason was telling me that he really doesn't have any limitations due to his injury. He just has to find different ways to do things now. The uh, fat system at Walter Reed is the one that helps us and teaches us to shoot again, whether we're going to be in the military or not. And that is one system is just fabulous. We're down here in this uh, small draw. We're going to put the sneak on him and see what happens. We're going to uh, have Verbal and Randy in an overwatch position. Recon by fire if needed to drive the bolt towards us, maybe. <laughs> And uh, we're going to move up here. He's about 700 meters, so we'll just kind of move in a bounding overwatch until we get up there in location. Or option B, there's a small watering hole right here. We could set up a uh, hide site and just wait for him, but I like option A. Let's go get him ourselves. Here we go. Jason has put in a great stock on this elk. As you see, he's in the prone. Let's see if he can get the job done. Put another one in. He's walking dead away from us. You just hang on. You got him. I see him. Just hang on. He's stumbling. He's stumbling. Is he down? down. <laughs> the HB B is down. Good work. Good work, buddy. Oh. Here's my overwatch position coming in. Thank you, Mr. Randy. And the verbal. Both in my <laughs> overwatch. <laughs> we come up in a ravine. We put on a stock. Come up this ravine and there are two cows about 60 yards away, so we decided to back off, come down, go up another ravine, another washout, and uh, come up this hillside. We saw we were alerted by two of the uh, enemy elk, and uh, they didn't give us away, though. We got up. They were within bow range. Sam, the guide, he's the man. Damn. We saw, it, we saw him take it off running, so he ran across, down a hill, up a hill, got into a good sniper position, good call, right behind some sagebrush. I had a hard time picking him out at first. The adrenaline, he's one big, you know what I'm saying. And uh, wait till he turned broadside, one shot. I don't even know how far he is away, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> 